Okay, what we're going to take a look at here are working with patterns in Illustrator CS5. Okay, so we begin and we want to locate where these patterns are. So our patterns are going to be in our swatches. So we come and we open up our swatches. There we have them. Okay, uh, and I have been here playing around. So let's just go to our default. Now again, what's always pretty amazing with Illustrator is that whatever the whatever colors you're working with will be the ones that will be there when you open it up. So you can see that I've actually been in Illustrator and I've worked with these patterns down here. Usually you wouldn't have that line of things, of different things to choose from. So to find our swatches, I'm sorry, to find our, our patterns, we can do one of two things. Let's begin in our library. So we come to our swatches panel at the bottom, we hit this little triangle, we come down, and we see we have patterns, patterns. Okay, hopefully I've been saying patterns and it's making sense because I think I said swatches a couple of times I should have said patterns. But with that said, we're looking at patterns. So we come and let's actually take a look at patterns in nature. And let's take a look at foliage. All right, and we can see that we have these all right here, okay? Um, now, when we click, you can see what's happening is that it shows on our fill down below. All right, so let's try one out. I have this one in right here. So I'm going to come and I'm going to take, I'm going to draw a shape. Okay, and what we'll see is this pattern will fill in on the fill. So same type of thing. If I was to come in and work with my pen tool, okay, this pattern is going to fill in there. Okay. If I was same type of thing too, if I was to come into here and I was to work with my pencil tool and I was to move around. Okay. The up, my fill isn't there. Let's see if it will work or not. Cancel. Okay. My fill would come in that way too. If I wanted to change it, Let's see what else we have. These are all of our nature ones. Let's come back to this one. Okay, and we can see that as I work with these colors, all of the ones that I'm working with, they are automatically coming up into my swatches panel. Okay, let's take a look at another thing. Let's say that I wanted to make my pattern bigger. Hmm, within this square. Well, there's a there's some options we have. If we were to come to the scale tool, we could double click the scale tool. Okay, up and I, I made it, I already have things preloaded in here. Usually this would just be at 100%. Oopsie. And that's where it was. Okay. So let's double click the scale tool. Now let's say that I said, okay, I am just going to make the pattern bigger and I want to make it 150% bigger. I'm going to preview it. Okay. See what happens here. Okay. I actually did that. Um, but we can see now that our pattern is bigger and that's right in the scale tool and same type of thing. See our shape's getting bigger, but our uh, patterns filling in up to there. Okay. Let's say that we wanted to, you know, we have our pattern here and we want to change it around a little bit using what the existing things are. Well, that's actually very easy to do. We come into object and we hit expand and we're going to expand the fill. Okay. I hit okay. All right. And then what we're going to find is that when we come in here, we can select certain parts. So let's say I decided, Hmm, you know what? I want to change all of these blues to a different color. Well, I could come in, I could select one. I could come up to object. I could say, actually I come to select same fill color. Okay. And then I could come up here. I could change it. Okay. All right now all of those same fill colors are um, selected. Now it's interesting. We can see how this person made this because we see all these different things over here too. We could go a little bit further, right? We could come in, we could, you know, select 
Well, we could select different other parts and move things around. Let's see here. Hmm. Interesting. All right, so we could see that was one of the colors too. All right, so when we start breaking it apart, the story is too is once we start breaking things apart, we can see how it really was made. Okay, so you know we could we could say if I said I want to get rid of that little leaf right here, well we could do that. We could select it and we could get rid of it. Okay, so now again, what this is is these are just really pre-made um, shapes, and we can see exactly how they're made once we start dissecting it. We can see. If we come into our appearance panel, our appearance panel is going to tell us everything. We, it's just a fill and a stroke with no stroke. Okay, but we can delete certain things. We could even, you know, take things and, you know, move them around. Do whatever it is that we want to do with them. Once we hit expand, we can dissect what it is we have here. And again, what these patterns are, are just, um, they're simply shapes that are put together and then they are repeated. Okay. Next thing we're going to take a look at is how do we create our own patterns? Okay, let's take a look at another way that we can actually edit and change around a pattern. So again, I'm going to come back in to patterns and I'm going to go to nature again and to foliage because I like that one. Um, and I'm going to just select one. I'm going to select this one. Now, what I can do is I can take this little swatch and I can bring it over here. All right. Then what I can do is I can zoom it on in. Okay. Now, what's happened here is these are all grouped. So I can ungroup them. Oops, let me select it first. Okay. I can come to object, ungroup. Okay. And then I can come in and I can change some things around. So let's say I deleted some of this stuff. Now I could come back in, select it again, group it again, okay? And then I can take it and I can um, drag it right into here and I have a new swatch and you can see that it is over here. Okay, so now once I have this loaded into my swatch, into my little swatches panel here, then I can just come up. My swatches must be turned off. And I can create a new swatch. I can name it Bamboo 2. I can hit OK. Okay, and there, here I can see this one that I just did. Okay, so now I could come on over and let's test it out and see if it actually works. We can make our rectangle and we can fill it. So we can come in, here's our bamboo one, here's our bamboo two. There we have it. Now let's take a look at how we would actually go about creating our own patterns. And what a pattern really is, it's, it's as we can see when we come in, uh, and this one's a really good one to see how this is so, and we fill it, all it is when we come in and expand it, we can see that all it really is are these different shapes. So this is the repetition of this shape. We can see how this shape is just varied around probably maybe the person and we can kind of get a sense of how they created it when we start clicking through. Um, so and probably sometimes they were copied and pasted. But all we have here again are just these different shapes. We can even see some of these shapes underlying here. We can see those paths that are underlying this uh, pattern. Okay, so in order to create our own patterns, what will we do? Well, we're going to keep it pretty simple here. Again, you could get really complex if you'd like. So I could, let me get a nice fill color here. I could take a shape, a shape, a shape, any shape, and I could just draw that shape. Okay, I can, you know, double click. Okay, I'm just copying this. It's moving off center. Okay, now I could come on into the rotate tool. I could double click it. I could say, let's undo patterns. I'm going to say, okay, I want this rotated 50%. Okay, uh, double click again. Edit, copy, edit, 
paste. Okay, so again, I could continue to work and work and work on this until I created a pattern that I wanted to have. Or maybe we'll throw in a couple circles. Now you can see actually when we look at the, um, when we begin to take a closer look at the nature tool, we can see that a lot of those are actually pretty complex. So we say repetition, repeat, repeat, I'm just doing this a little bit more on the random side. Now what else we could do then is we could we could come in, we could <clears throat> select this whole thing right here, okay? We could object, we could group it, we could edit, copy, edit, paste. Edit, copy, oops, I already have the copy, edit, paste. All right, we could take this out and move this over, all right, until we really begin to create this overall pattern. Okay, you know, then we could even get more complicated, bring these in closer together. Okay, we could then take all of these, select all of these, we could object, we could group these, we could edit, copy, edit, paste. We could take this here, we could free transform it, we could flip it around, pull this out fit this in. So we're beginning to come in and whoopsie and create a pattern of sorts. All right, I think you got the idea. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in, I'm going to object. I'm going to group it. Object group. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is up oh, I'm going to take this and I'm going to drag it and I'm going to drop it right into there and I can see now it's here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into my swatches panel and I'm going to create a new swatch and I'm going to name this random pattern because it's a random pattern for certain. I'm going to hit OK. Now I'm going to delete the one I just made. I can see my random patterns right here. I can click and see what I have. Okay. And now I'm going to, you know, draw a shape, any shape, maybe my rectangle. And there's my random pattern. Voila. Okay, depending upon the shape, it's going to come in a little bit differently. Um, I could click off of here. I could come in with my good old pen tool and see how the random pattern is going to fill a pen tool kind of shape. Again, this is definitely a random pattern and here it is coming in. So there we have it. In this video, I've gone over patterns, how to access the patterns in Illustrator CS5, how to alter the patterns that are already within Illustrator CS5, and how to create your own. Thanks for listening.